So Ron Swanson and Chris Traeger met very early on. I had a glamorous problem. I really had a gold-plated problem. There were too many good actors uh, that I started to get worried, for instance, with Emily Proctor uh, playing Ainsley Hayes. I wanted her to be a series regular, but I just didn't think there were already eight series regulars, and I just didn't think I'd be able to come up with enough stories to sort of guarantee a ninth person, and that's something uh, that I regret. For what purpose was I brought here today? So I could offer you a job. I'm asking because I do not think that it is fair that I be expected to play the role of the mouse to the White House's cat in the game of, you know the game. Cat and mouse? Yes. There were so many wonderful actors that, that I worked with. I really loved working with Jason Isaacs. To an old-fashioned girl. Huh. I'm sorry, that was just really cheesy. Huh. The only non-Josh relationship that I had that I actually kissed, but they didn't put it in the show. There's no one else that would even come close to being a phenomenal guest star to me than Elizabeth Moss. I mean, she gave me my first on-screen kiss. I'm not afraid of being affectionate in public. I would never forget, you threw me up against the wall and really just planted one on me and, and, and went for it. You know, she walked off and I was like, oh. One of the great recurring characters that I loved, although now that I'm thinking of it, I never interacted with him, was Oliver Platt as Oliver Babish. Just, he was incredibly hilarious and he's got a sort of larger than life vibe to him. He did everything you do if your intent is to perpetrate a fraud. I have a soft spot for Hector Elizondo, one of Sam's professors who introduced him to the world of physics and the superconducting super collider, which was one of my favorite phrases to say 17 times quickly. I need you to tell me everything you can tell me about the superconducting super collider. How much time do you have? About 10 minutes. If you pay close attention, stay very, very quiet, I can teach you how to spell it. Mary Louise Parker, I think, is, is a really, really important part of the show. She was so good. I fought you, I lost, I had a drink, I took a shower. Because that's how it is in the NBA. Nick Offerman from Parks and Recreation. Um, and he was trying to get Sam Seaborn to create a pathway for wolves to migrate through the national parks. It's very Nick Offerman, isn't it? Yeah. For four years, scientists have tracked Pluies. She made her way from Banff National Park in Alberta up and down the Rockies. I always work, uh, my character, um, the interpreter character that I had on the show, uh, Bill O'Brien, he and I were always together everywhere on the set. We're going back to the hotel. It was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. That was me saying that. You didn't have a good time meeting me? You know what? I actually know that sign. Well, I have to acknowledge the a recurring uh, guest, which was uh, Kathleen York, who played my, my ex-wife, and she was very special. And not to mention being so wonderful in the part. Toby, are you upset that I went out on a date? Or are you upset that I went out on a date with someone who plays in the same division as the Yankees? Honest to God, I'm not sure. John Amos was a great actor. I worked with a lot in the Situation Room. But John Amos is one, a great, great actor, and I was lucky enough to have some good scenes with him. Good morning, Mr. President. What do we got? Three retaliatory strike scenarios. When are they operational? At the president's command. It was unbelievable when Lily Tomlin joined the show. I mean. I'm an alpaca farmer. Like the sweaters? Before their sweaters. Uh-huh. And before that? Craps and blackjack. You know, we had some big names come through. I mean, Glenn Close, that was fantastic when we worked with her. And she was down to earth, hanging out outside, telling stories. John Goodman and, um, when Jimmy Smits came on. And everybody, I'm sure everybody mentioned Yo-Yo Ma because it was a really wonderful, very special day on set. Guest actors should get like, you know, a Nobel Peace Prize because everybody else has been doing this for years. Uh, and when these people come in and they're just ringers, it's, it's, it's amazing. Thank <laughs> you.